Hi everyone, this is Teresa with MyPaintingStudio.com. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate your support in this and with my Blue Jay video series. This first part will consist of doing the Blue Jay itself. The second one that I'll be doing will be of the with the tree branch and the flowers. And I hope you learned a lot from this. I hope you enjoy it as much as I did in creating this. And happy painting, everyone. Let's get started. Okay. First thing we're going to do is, uh, this is dry with the clear gesso which is optional on your part it's up to you whether you want to do that or not but we're going to just start blocking in and uh, and basically what you want to do load your your paintbrush but not a whole lot uh, if you put too much on it put then wipe it off with your with the napkin now as you can tell it's split so in order to remember where the line is it's always a good idea to have where the lines are on your painting now this is just a block in <clears throat> and what I like to do like a semi-soft line there on his beak uh, and, and just go ahead and just start blocking that in what I like to do is I'm going to go ahead and do the the eye which I'm going to do in the Payne's Gray okay this is just the base coat and it's going to look pretty flat when you start out with this. Okay, there's part of the wing that is in the dark, uh, really dark. And right now what I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and add the white up here, being careful with the purple, bluish purple. So I want to wait a little bit to let that dry. So I'm going to go ahead and touch base with the um, legs underneath. And again, I'm going to use the liner because they're so tiny there darken them
and try and leave little wisps of hair or feathers if you can. Going in the direction of the feathers. I'm going to use my smaller brush to get into the black with the Payne's Gray. a little more of a gray. Okay, uh, when you put too much on your brush, just wipe it off a little bit. And go in the direction of his of the body that you drew. Like so. And that part is pretty gray. Once you get down to a certain length, then go ahead and start adding the white. Keep it in mind the direction that you want to go. And then you want to mix this these by blending them, going up and down going in the direction of the fur or the feathers. I'll probably say fur more than feathers, think, <laughs> but I, re I am referring to the feathers and I'm going to try and re remember say feathers because that's what the <laughs> birds have, are feathers. And if you see any harsh lines, try and get them out of there. Okay. okay, this has a bit of fur coming down here. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you watching the first part of the blocking in of the colors. The second part of the tree branch and the flowers will be coming very soon. You have a great day and happy painting everyone.